what, what's a good owner and who are the best owners in the championship? Well, I, th I think we've got to look at it on, on two bases, Ben. Uh, there, there's a quantitative perspective, i.e., is the owner a fair? Uh, is, is the is the owner prepared to put money into the club and effectively say goodbye to it? Yeah, so in, like Preston or Middlesbrough, yeah, 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 and yeah, uh, and Forest and Bristol City. You know that their owners have put in ridiculous amounts of money. Um, um, and, and also, uh, and, and this isn't one of the good owners. Yeah, Mel Morris did put a lot of money into Derby. He didn't mm. put it in necessarily particularly transparently, um, but he but he was a he was a he was a financial backer of the club. Um, so I, I think we can look at things on, on a quantitative basis, uh, and I'd include the Venkies at Blackburn there. And, and th then you got to look at things on a qualitative basis, which is effectively saying. Um, does the club have a strategy? Does the club have a philosophy? Does the club have a plan? Now, a plan should last longer than the next transfer window. But in the eyes of, of some owners, and also I think it's got to be said in the eyes of some fans, it is only the next transfer window that is their focus. And if you take such an approach, um, I think you'll end up getting your fingers burned. And, and that's what we're seeing um, at many clubs. But I agree with you. I think Millwall, uh, John John Beresko, he, he is, Ber he is still some. So I'll, get, I'll get comments on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I'm, I've, not got, I've not got names in front of me. Uh, <laughs> I, I think Millwall are well run. Rotherham, I would agree with you. Luton. Um, I, I think the owners at Bristol City, uh, Forest, Steve Gibson at Borough. If you talk to if you talk to Borough fans, they've got a very positive perception of him. Uh, I know that that's possibly not reflected the same at Derby. Yeah, um, do, you, do, do you think just quickly because Gibson in the Premier League era was always the guy based on your benevolence rating that was you know he's a great owner. Do, do you think um, in the way he rightly or wrongly quite aggressively went after? Um, Derby, do, do you think that's changed the perception um, amongst the general masses? Um, it, it, I, I, I can't speak on behalf of fans of other clubs, but I, I don't necessarily think so because I, I would imagine, and I'd also imagine if the situation had been reversed, you know, would would Mel, would Mel Morris have gone after Gibson? Uh, potentially, yes. Um, and, and I think that's what that's what I've seen in respect of most fans. Um, they they would take the view, rightly or wrongly, that um, their opportunity to promotion has been uh, has been hampered due to the the financial machinations of another club, um, and, and therefore they want some form of redress. And, and we've seen that uh, at at Wickham as well. Uh, we might be seeing that in respect of Burnley in, in terms of what's happened to Everton. So um, I, I think it's. I think it's a sad thing for football that uh, we are increasingly uh, using litigation or the threats of litigation to to settle issues. Uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I don't want to sound too Corinthian and put a put a curled wax moustache on. Yeah, I think it should all take place on the pitch, uh, which is which. Which I, I, you know, I can understand people say, "Well, that's hypocritical because I'll be out of a job." If it, if it was just taking place on the pitch, but um, yeah, I, I think with the the increasing use of charges, tribunals, legal claims, disputes uh, that, that is arriving in football is it is not it's, it's not why we fall fall in love with the game. No, it's murky, isn't it? Um, obviously, you know where the next question is going because. Uh, it's kind of like the wacky races when you actually say all of these names in a row. But we've got Delia and the Potsos, the Americans at Burnley coming back, Prince Abdullah, Bet365, Dai Young, Trillion Trophy, Asia, um, potentially Mr. Bassini returning, who you who you mentioned. Although I can't, can't actually see that getting ratified. But um, who, who scares you in terms of championship owners? Um, if, if Lawrence Bassini got hold of Birmingham City, I, I would genuinely be very concerned about the the club. Um, for anybody that has not read it, uh, I, I would thoroughly recommend the Charlton dossier for a, 
uh, a lengthy um, character assassination of Mr. Bassini. Now, yeah, every everybody's entitled to a second chance in life. Um, you know, and it could be that the first time he was made bankrupt, um, it was his father's fault and not his. Um, it could be that uh, when he was banned from all football for three years, um, due to um, a, a a review which said that he he practiced secrecy and deception. That, that, I'm, that could... I'm laughing at Kieran's sarcastic delivery here, not at anything to do with Birmingham, by the way. Carry on, Kieran. And <laughs> um, you know, it, it could you know that that could be very harsh in in terms of his his upstanding nature. It, it could be <laughs> when he he tried to force the club secretary to give him the contents of the club safe and all of the cash therein, that he had a legitimate and thoroughly upstanding reason for the use of that cash very, very quickly. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not here to question that. Um, <laughs> and, you know, also that uh, when when he, he left Watford Football Club, um, there were one point there was 1.5 million pounds of, of money from the sale of Danny Graham um, and money from the EFL, which I think unfortunately ended up in his bank account and that not that of the club. But anybody can make that mistake then because you know, we, we, I've, 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 been, I've been to a bank in a rush and, and paid in. Yeah, remember the days when we used to pay checks in? It yeah. can happen to anybody. Um, and uh, you know, the fact that the funds weren't received by the club uh, was, well, it was just it's one of those things.